Hello everybody, uh, my name is Marty. Uh, probably a lot of people know about me. Um, uh, I won't go into details uh, about why, uh, but if, if you know why, then you know why. Uh, so I originally am from the, the US, uh, from America, and I moved to Hungary about two years ago, and uh, unable to find work uh, due to several reasons. Uh, I decided to try to figure out what I could do to be sustainable and, and you know support my family. Um, so I have always had an interest in beekeeping and so I decided to uh, try my hand at it. So uh, it was very difficult to, to find uh, any help here. You know, one, the language barrier is, uh, is a little bit of an obstacle to overcome. Um, and uh, two, it just seems like uh, a lot of the beekeepers here in Hungary, they're, uh, they're very particular. Uh, they, they're not extremely helpful unless you can kind of get into their inner circle. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, uh, you know, they're also very busy and most of them have to work uh, not only the, um, the, the apiaries that they, they have, but uh, to get the honey and everything, but they also have to work a second job because of the, just the market is uh, so uh, depressed because uh, uh, influx of uh, honey and, and uh, bee stuff uh, supplies and all that from uh, China. So as you can hear, there's a lot of noise that is ongoing all day long every day here in, uh, in Hungary, especially in a little uh, 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 farmland town. Um, so the uh, Hungarians love their weed whackers and they're always going, even if the grass is uh, like two centimeters tall. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna, uh, show you what I call my little bee yard, my apiary. Uh, I have a second one. I actually just uh, acquired a partner um, that uh, we're basically starting from nothing um, and building up. So uh, a year ago, I started with one hive that was uh, sort of gifted to me. Um, and I had to kind of bring that back from the brink of death. Um, it, uh, it was a laying worker hive. So that means that uh, the workers uh, had, uh, their ovaries had developed and they were able to lay eggs, but they were unfertilized eggs. And so they all would come out as drones, which are the males. And those beyond uh, mating with queens are pretty much worthless. So this hive uh, that I'll show you later is, uh, it was just packed full of drones. So um, they're huge and not knowing much about bees other than the, uh, what I you know, learned and taught myself from the internet. Uh, they look different, of course. And they, uh, uh, so my, my initial start with them was, was, uh, it was, it was kind of comical. Um, so I was able to purchase a queen and luckily there was enough workers in there that that hive built up. I was actually able to split it off once, uh, actually twice last year, but uh, my first attempt failed. Uh, so uh, I lived and learned from that. Uh, everything that I've done beekeeping wise, I've basically uh, learned from experience, trial and error. I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours out here uh, around the beehives, um, uh, just monitoring watching, observing, uh, experimenting, um, trial and error. Uh, and now I'm up to over 20 hives uh, at this location and we have a couple over at the other location. Uh, and the other location is actually uh, a polonia uh, tree uh, plantation um, that we're actually gonna kind of market uh, polonia honey, which is kind of a, a rarity. Uh, it's, uh, here in Hungary, the, the, the main uh, uh, thing of course is the, the acacia uh, uh, honey, which is the, they call it acacia maize, um, and that's the black locust uh, trees. They also do uh, repsa, which is uh, uh, the um, uh, rapeseed or the canola. Um, that's uh, in the spring, that's one of the, the first uh, uh, major blooms uh, in, in the farms, uh, in the pastures. Um, and then, uh, you know, the Akatspa, the, the, uh, the black locust, and then uh, sunflowers, which is what's going on right now. It's kind of tapering off. Um, and I'm still learning about all the different nectar flows that take place. So I'll uh, show you around, and then I'm actually gonna open up my, the first hive, which I actually have split off uh, uh, within the last few weeks. So it's actually totally different than it was, but still the same. You can see how large the frames are compared to uh, like the US uh, standard Langstroth. And, uh, I do have two or three three different types of hives um, that I'm kind of trialing to see which one's going to work best for when we actually start going to nectar flow next spring. 